All right. Good morning, everyone. And hope you all got a good sleep. And thanks for being here. In this session, we are going to be talking about how we are using large language models to improve uh, developer productivity at Salesforce. My name is Sridhar Raghavan. I'm a senior director of uh, product management at Salesforce AI Research. And with me is Eric Nakamp, who's a senior research scientist at Salesforce AI Research. We are more than excited to be sharing the work done by several talented people all across Salesforce. So truly honored. Before making any purchasing decisions, please uh, contact your account representatives for further details. First, yes, thank you for being here. Thanks for taking time to be at this session, the first session in the morning. And we want to make sure that your next 20 minutes is worthwhile and you, you take something out of the session uh, that can set you up for success. So thank you for that. So the outline for next uh, 15 to 20 minutes is that we'll be walking through some of the key challenges that uh, we are seeing our developers are facing um, as they are developing on Salesforce. And then we'll cover some of the solutions that we are putting, giving to our customers that is helping with addressing some of these pain points for our developers. And then we'll follow that up with how we actually build this and b how we build this the way Salesforce brings products to our customers, which is to keep trust at the core of everything we do. And in the end, we will give you pointers to where you can actually go and download um, the product that we are just talking about. So speaking of some of the challenges that our customers are facing, Salesforce as a platform is extremely powerful because it's very flexible. And to kind of use its flexibility, one has to either write some Apex code to customize it or use some of the low code capabilities that the platform offers to configure and make it your own. Not only that, uh, when we talk to some of our customers, they say that they are using more, more and more apps than ever before to connect with their employees and run their businesses. So according to a recent uh, benchmark that we uh, collected from uh, MuleSoft, it turns out every organization uses more than 1,000 uh, connected apps to run their businesses. Now that is staggering number of integrations and that adds on to the complexity uh, uh, of work that the developers have to do in integrating these uh, pieces together. Now, and, and the, all this workload has to be done in a very short amount of time. And that increases the burden on the developer itself. And in a survey conducted by Haystack, it turns out eight out of 10 developers experience a burnout. And we don't want our developers to be burnt out. So at Salesforce AI Research, we have taken this very seriously. And in the last year, we have really brought out innovations that are uh, leapfrogging some of the uh, productivity concerns that we have had when it comes to uh, software development. And, and it's not just us. We have seen across the workforce how generative AI has been so impactful in improving productivity for some of the routine tasks that we do every day, just to fulfill some of our job requirements. And for, for software development, it's, it's actually even more impactful. And when we talk of software development, it's like the whole development life cycle. There are many facets to it. Uh, one could be, as, as a software developer, one could be uh, writing new code. It could be writing documentation. It could be writing test cases. Um, or it could also be refactoring existing legacy code that a um, lot of our uh, customers are uh, doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So for us, the way we are approaching trying to solve this problem is by putting the customer in the center of it and building a solution for the developer persona who's at the crux of this revolution. The good thing, though, is that the impact of Gen AI for developers is not a wild hypothesis. 
we have clear objective data from the field that shows the impact it can have when it comes to either writing faster code or, or uh, refactoring code in a much shorter amount of time, writing documentation, and so on. And, and some of the stats is uh, from independent research done by uh, uh, McKenzie, and it's also from GitHub, and some of it is from Salesforce. The key takeaway here is that there is a clear uh, productivity boost that our developers are seeing when they have an AI assistant helping them do their day-to-day -day chores. Now, in order to bring a product that is truly impactful uh, to, to our developers, you, th there are many challenges uh, that we had to kind of overcome. One is, it's, you can take any open source language model out there or any other third party solution and provide uh, code generation through it, which is possible. But what was loud and clear when we ran our pilot in the last few months was that customers expect this AI to know about their code base, know about their org schema, and also know about all the best practices that Salesforce, off, uh, Salesforce has uh, put together as a guide for our developers. And not only that, our customers have also created best practices for themselves. So the AI should be aware of all these uh, uh, best practices, uh, the uh, org schema, and existing code base to make uh, recommendations in terms of changes or requests that you're making to it. So the, these are all the factors that we considered as we are bringing this product together. So now, building something like this from ground up is not something new for Salesforce. We, we've had over a decade of experience uh, bringing AI products to the market through Einstein. And You'll hear in a little bit from Eric about what we are doing with CodeGen, which is the core language model that powers this uh, product <coughs> and uh, how it is transforming uh, what, what our developers are doing on a day-to-day -day basis uh, in terms of productivity. Now, the moment that all of you are waiting for, so what is Einstein for developers? And what can it do and when is it available? Well, as of today, Einstein for Developers is available as beta on uh, VS Code Marketplace as an extension. So you can go to VS Code Marketplace, search for Einstein for Developers, download it, and use it. So it does two things today. You can make it write Apex code from natural language. So you can prompt it with, a, uh, like, write a trigger or write a uh, connector, and it'll, it'll write the Apex code. You can copy and make it your own and use it in your code. We have also integrated the code analyzer, which flags any security vulnerabilities during the development time. So the code that you're putting out there is the most secure code. While we are doing that, we are actively also uh, bringing new features in the coming weeks and months. That includes test case generation, and also code completion, and also in um, um, code explanation, where you, you're, where you want to explain an existing code that you might have. It could be legacy code. Uh, or it could be code that's written by uh, someone else uh, who might have left the company. You get explanation for that code if the comments are insufficient. Now, with all that said, we want to show you the product in action. So for that, I will invite, uh, well, Eric is already here. So I'll <laughs> hand it over to Eric, who's going to walk us through a demo and share about how we build this model. So. Thank you. Shrita, this was great. So now let's jump right into the live demo. Let me switch over here. So for a brief moment in time, imagine you're a developer for Dreamhouse, which is our fictional real estate company putting clients into their dream houses. Dreamhouse wants to implement a feature which is emailing their brokers whenever there's a new property on the market. So Dreamhouse is using Salesforce, and now the developers need to write a piece of custom Apex code to customize the Salesforce system. Traditionally, when you write Apex code, you have to read the documentation, you have to, write the f uh, you have to find the right functions, and then you write your piece of Apex code. And this is a quite time-consuming process. So to accelerate this process, we introduce Einstein for Developers, which is an AI assistant powered by generative AI 
which can translate your plain English into functional Apex code. So let's have a look. Here on the right hand side, you see the Dreamhouse um, GitHub project running in Visual Studio Code. That's the IDE for Apex developers. And now on the left, on the sidebar, you can see the little Einstein. Let's click on it. And this is our Einstein for developer extension, which is installed in your IDE. So now remember, Dreamforce wants to customize the product, the CRM system, to trigger an email whenever there's a new property on the market. So what we write in plain English, we tell Einstein to write a batch Apex job which sends an email to brokers when a new property is created. Right. So now let's ask Einstein to generate a res response. Right. So now on the left hand side, in real time, you can see Einstein is generating functional Apex code which we can copy and paste in our, into our project, like this. Now you have your Apex code, and you can modify it further for your um, specific use case. But most importantly, you not only have functional Apex code, you also have English explanation, which you can see here. And if you think about it, this is really the fastest way to learn Apex. You have a question you want to implement, you ask Einstein, you get a piece of functional Apex code, and you get a piece of explanation. And this is not generic explanation, this is explaining the specific piece of Apex code. So if you like this piece, you can give us feedback and we further improve our model in the next iterations. So that's the demo, that's working well. Now let's have a look at the tech behind this demo. How do you actually build this? Right, so for the solution behind Einstein for developers, there's much more, but we're covering three steps. First, the in-house code and LLM model. Then how do you turn a generic LLM into a custom, customized trusted LLM for products? And lastly, the Einstein trust layer, which is sitting on top of the solution to keep your data private, secure, and safe. So first, let's look at CodeGen. That's our in-house LLM, which sits at the foundation of um, Einstein for developers. And it's a custom LLM trained on code. So early last year, slightly more than a year ago, we released CodeGen version 1. At that point in time, CodeGen was actually the largest open source LLM with up to 16 billion parameters. And still today, the family of Cogen models is enjoying more than 70,000 downloads per month. So it's quite widely used also outside our Salesforce. Then early this year, Salesforce released Cogen version 2, the next iteration of Cogen with improved quality. So these models, they really reach the threshold of usability to be useful in the daily life of a developer in terms of quality. So Salesforce invested into internal AI-powered development tooling to accelerate our internal engineering. And today, these tools, these AI-powered tools, are saving up to 90 minutes per developer per day, and so far resulted in more than 200,000 lines of code in our internal products. So based on these findings, in July this year, a couple of months ago, we released CodeGen 2.5, which is specifically optimized for production use cases. So not only are we getting even higher quality, we are now also pushing down on latency, which is critical for user experience, like you have seen. If you have a prompt, you want to immediately get the response from the model, but we're also pushing down cost to serve of these models, which is critical for the business use case behind your product. Right, so this is CodeGen. That's the in-house LLM behind these models. Uh, behind these products, but a good model is only a small piece of the puzzle. So let's have a look what else you need to turn these models into solutions. You essentially need a vertical stack of capabilities which you build up and which you have to master to deliver a good product. So on the foundation of this stack, you can see our cogen foundational models. These we just had on the last slide. And that's really the foundation. But now you need much more. So once you have these generic models, you deploy continual learning, 
We're just continuously learning these models on Apex feedback, on Apex code, to really align the model with the Apex use case. So once you have continual learning, we need quality assurance. We have Apex experts which are looking at the output of the model and making sure the quality of the Apex you get is actually good quality. So you can copy and paste it into your Salesforce system and the code runs out of the box. We not only have expert feedback, we also have automated internal benchmarks to really quantify the model performance. So in every iteration, we are running quality assurance to make sure the next version of our models is improving over the previous version. That's the quality assurance. So now you have a good model. You have a good Apex model, but you don't have a customized model yet. You have a model which is aligned with Apex, but it's not customized for your org yet. So we make our models context aware, which means our models, when they generate code, they can actually look into your org and query custom objects or your schema information stored in your Salesforce org. And then the generation is actually based on this context, which is sitting in your org metadata. Right, and lastly, on top of this, we have a trust layer. So the trust layer not only prevents harmful code generation, but since trust is really the core value at Salesforce, um, it's keeping your data safe, private, and secure. Let's have a closer look at how we keep your data safe. So the goal of the Einstein trust layer is really, again, to keep your data safe, private, and secure. And you can imagine the trust layer being a sequence of um, gateways and retrieval systems which are creating generative AI secured with trust. So on the left-hand side, you can see the sales in the blue box, you can see the Salesforce extensions such as Einstein, which are then, then sending prompts to our trust layer. These prompts are enriched internally in a secured environment with your customer org-specific data. And within our trust um, boundary, we forward these enriched prompts to our secure LLM gateway. Inside this gateway are sitting our in-house LLMs, such as uh, CodeGen. So the data is never leaving this secured environment. Then finally, we scan the output of the LLM for toxic content and other aspects and store it for later auditing. And then the generation is sent back to your extension. And what's important, this entire process is running inside our managed infrastructure. There's like no external third party touching your data at any point in time. Right, so if you want to learn more, we are at the platform park or AI landing zone. Cogen, the base model is open source. You can go to GitHub and download the model. But most importantly, Einstein for developers, we not only had a live demo, but you can actually go and download the better today. It's an open free better. So right now, you can let me try to show it. Well, let's see if it works. Ah, yes, you click here. And then you type Einstein for developers. This is the Visual Studio Marketplace where you can download extensions. So you type Einstein for developers. And then you can see the extension here. And if you click on the green button install, you can download the extension into your um, ID and start using it today. Right, I'm actually not sure how to go back, so <laughs> this concludes our talk. We're on the floor. If you have questions or feedback, um, very welcome. Thank you for your time. Enjoy Dreamforce, enjoy San Francisco, and thank you again.